What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and another video on the BMW E60 520D today. And we're actually going to be working in the engine bay. Yes, we're finally going to be doing some mechanical work. So then, we plan to change this pipe today, which if you are not aware, is on the N47 engine, which is the BMW 2 liter diesel engine. And this is a crankcase breather hose. So this goes from the top of the engine, right from the uh, rocker cover, down to the air intake pipe just below the air filter box. And this takes away the oil vapor from the crankcase to the air intake pipes. And then that goes through all the intake pipes, through the intercooler, through the intake manifold and finally into the combustion chamber where they just get burnt off. Now the pipe that's on the car now is the original one I'm pretty sure but it's it suffered from a pretty bad design fault so the ends of the pipe that's on the car we'll be showing you in just a minute they're actually rubber and this thing can get pretty hot because obviously you're getting the hot oil vapors going through this pipe and uh, rubber tends to break down when it gets too hot or when it gets too cold. Um, but this one's actually a hardened plastic and it's um, and it's an updated pipe. So uh, they seem to have uh, have fixed this um, design fault, where, you know, with the later model of the engine. So we're going to be installing this today, and I'm, I'm hoping that this should uh, fix the oil leak because I notice around the same area there is some oil seeping out of uh, seemingly from this pipe. So. Yeah, we're gonna be taking the old one off, giving everywhere a clean down, and then fitting this shiny new one. And it's actually a genuine BMW part as well, so. Yeah, it was only like a tenner though, so if you are thinking of doing this job yourself, um, it's, you know, it doesn't cost a lot. Don't go ahead and spend more, more than about a tenner on this pipe. Well, anyway, without further ado, let's get outside and let's get the, uh, let's get the bonnet up. Okay then, so here's how it looks straight away. Um, obviously we've got to take the engine cover off. Let's go, put it on the floor. You can get, you can see, uh, you can see better here. You can see this is the original pipe. You see how it's rubber and it's uh, very oily. You, like, you shouldn't be getting oil coming out of there. And uh, yeah, definitely need to replace it. I'm pretty sure that's why there's all this oil on the EGR, I don't think the EGR is leaking, um, but it's all run down there as well. And it's all like it's not very nice, it's made a bit of a uh, mess of the engine base. So, I'm gonna be whipping this off. Probably won't even need to remove this cover to be honest. I'm pretty sure you just squeeze this to take it off. I'm gonna need two hands for that, I think. Okay, then, so on this pipe, you can see. You can see on the original that there's just a, a tab on the top and then a tab on the bottom. If you just want to squeeze that apart, and it should come off. Should come off this then. Just, there we go. Yeah, very very oily. And then it should be pretty much the same at the bottom. Access isn't the greatest, but I'm sure we'll get it out. There we go. There we are. There's the bottom one. The rubber at the bottom isn't too bad. You can see it's yeah, it's actually starting to get chewed up. But the top one's even worse. That's why all that oil just came away. Obviously, it's just a bad design fault, really. So, let's chuck this in the bin. Fitting the new one's literally just exactly the same as uh, removing it. So. You got, you know, both the ends look different. This is the end that goes uh, down into the air intake pipe. And you should hear a click that's gone in. And this bit just goes on there. Job done. Okay then, so the pipe is fitted. Only thing left to do is just to clean this area down. Obviously, obviously it's a lot of uh, just like thick, oily crap. 
especially all over the EGR and this pipe down here. But I'll probably actually just clean that off when I do like a whole engine degree. So I'll probably just do it all at the same time rather than just doing like a little area. Um, but yeah, this is uh, job done now. Alright then guys, job done then. Like I said, very, very easy job. Even if you don't have any kind of like mechanical knowledge, you know, you're not mechanically inclined, then um, you're still going to be able to do this job. So if you do have uh, a BMW, uh, either 520D, 320D or 120D between the years of, I think, 2007 and 2010, I believe, with the 177 um, brake horsepower engine, then you may need to replace this pipe or at least inspect it. If you can see there's like, you know, melted rubber and there's like oil um, basically dripping out, then, uh, you know, I would consider changing it for the price that it is as well. It's literally 10 pound and um, it's gonna keep your, um, keep your engine bay a lot cleaner. And I actually noticed as well, that the rubber that had kind of melted from the inside it kind of like went inside of the pipe and was like blocking the oil um coming out like i don't know there's literally no um where for the oil to actually come through there's nowhere for the oil vapor to come through so i don't know if that could potentially cause a problem like if there's no uh crankcase ventilation you know but because basically if it's blocked then there's no um way for the uh, crankcase vapors to escape so potentially that could cause a, a problem as well um, but like i said you know if you um if you do have this engine then just go ahead and change it if it hasn't already been done with that said i do want to thank you guys for watching please give this video a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already done so and i'll see you in that next video peace